Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to delete all messages on Discord. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we first have to see if it's actually possible via the Discord application itself. Now, with the how Discord is currently set up right now, we don't have the capabilities of deleting all the messages. So typically, if you want to delete a message, what you need to do is you need to click on the more button here. And from here, you have the delete message option. But there is a way for us, but we'll be using scripts for this one. So in this case, before we start or before I introduce you with that script, I just have to warn you, make sure that you access the correct links here because installing scripts can be fatal to some users, especially if the script is not trusted. Now in this case, once you're aware on that, proceed with caution. Now in this case, let's go ahead and open up our uh, browser here and we need to open up a specific extension here so let's go ahead and visit chromewebstore.google.com and from here we need to search for the following which is going to be a violent monkey and just press on enter and from here what we need to do is you need to install this extension here now from here once it installed the next thing you want to do is you need to install on discord so in this case, we have this link for on Discord here. So go ahead and go to this specific link. And once you've gone in here, the next thing you want to do is you need to click on install script and it's going to open up another tab here. Now in this new tab here, you'll be able to see the contents of the script if you want to further check on this one. But once you're sure and once you are uh, sure that you want to install this one, just click on the install button here and the script should now be installed. Now, once this script is actually installed, the next thing you want to do is you need to access Discord via your browsers because we won't be able to do this method here if you're, at, you're actually in a very specific uh, application. So let's just go ahead and open up a browser here, go to discord.com and you want to lock in. Now, typically when you access the Discord UI here, you won't see a trash gun icon at the top right. But in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to that specific channel and you need to click on this trash can icon. But since I don't want to delete a, uh, me my messages here on this Discord channel here, I'm going to demonstrate you here, here in my direct messages. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to click on the trash can icon and from here this UI will pop up. Now this might be kind of uh, overwhelming with how it actually looks like, especially if you're not uh, familiar with this type of information. Like for example, grand total here, the delete delay and a lot more here. But in this case, what you just need to do here is you just need to guarantee that you're currently in the correct location. Like for example, for DMs here, you need to click on the me current and the current buttons here. So go ahead and just click all those buttons and from here just click on delete. And from here it's going to say Discord says do you want to delete three messages which is the amount of messages that we can delete right now that is from me. Now in this case let's go and click on OK and as you can see it's going to start deleting those messages real time and we were able to delete our messages. Now in this case, if you want to do this to your channel, go ahead, go to that channel, go that go to that specific text channel and do the same thing. And from here, click on me, the server ID, channel ID again, and just click on the option that says delete in here. But yeah, so that's how you delete all messages on Discord. But this is only for your messages. But that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.